Hey Study Sync teachers, I'm Catlin, and this is a quick tutorial on using the Access Prior Knowledge activities in Study Sync to create an online discussion prompt. So I'm going to click into the instructional path and I'm going to go into the Marigold's lesson plan. And so whenever I'm looking at a first read, typically the first read in the introduction has either an Access Prior Knowledge or a building background activity to engage kids before they read the text. So if I scroll down into the introduction, Mary Golds does have an access prior knowledge activity, and it asks students to think about events in their life that might have impacted their view of the world. And so I'm going to take these questions and design an online discussion question. And I'm going to have to tweak them a little bit because it's definitely these questions are directed to me as the teacher. So I'm going to have to reward them. But if I go into Google Classroom, I'm going to open my empathy unit. Now, if you actually let's go back to classwork. If you are creating an online discussion question, you're going to click create. You're going to select question. You're going to give your question a title. And then you're going to put the directions here. And this is where I would suggest you put the, the questions from the Access Prior Knowledge activity. And then obviously you're going to tweak them um, so that they make sense and they're student facing, not teacher facing. So I'll show you the discussion question that I put together for this particular Access Prior Knowledge activity. So let's go into the actual question. So I just titled it Marigold's Access Prior Knowledge Online Discussion. And then in the instructions, I said, describe a time when you discovered or experienced something that made you see the world differently. And in the lesson plan, they give examples. And I've just kind of given a few additional ones. So discovering that the tooth fairy was not real, visiting another country, reading a book that blew your mind. So just kind of getting students to think about experience that they had that may have impacted how they view the world. And then I've asked, how did this event, experience, or moment make you feel? How did it cause you to change? And so these are just adapted questions from this prompt right here. And then after that, I have also included this direction for what they should do once they respond to the question itself. So once you have posted your response to the question above, read the replies posted by your peers and reply to at least three of your classmates' posts. What was similar and or different about their experience? experiences or the impact of those experiences. Um, so in your replies to peers, highlight similarities, differences, make connections, ask questions, and complement well-written posts. And you'll just want to make sure that you have the discussion questions set so that students can reply to one another. Like right here, you'll see it. Students can reply to each other. So just make sure that's checked. And if you want them to be able to edit their answer, you can also check the second box and then make sure it is under the um, topic that you want it to be. So I have this under my empathy unit, um, which is where this particular lesson um, is coming from. And then I just click ask and it should appear on my students end for them to engage in an online discussion. So that's how you take an access prior knowledge activity and create an online discussion so that even though kids are learning remotely, they still have the opportunity to engage in conversation together online.